It's Tuesday. I hope you guys are having a good one. Hello, YouTubers. This is Anubifier. I started a new series called Community Concerns because I have more time to research. And if you missed past week's installments, this is a playlist and it could be started very much like a podcast when you're stuck in traffic, washing your sinks cats. I don't know. Consider bookmarking it and checking in every once in a while to get caught up to date with what the community is talking about. And if you like it, do me a favor and share it with your friends or orgmates. Today is the 29th of March, 2022. It's been two weeks without entries because mainly when I went to Spectrum, there was a lack of interesting concerns from the community. So I decided to not do anything. Anyways, try to do these on Tuesday and I try to choose threads that are well presented and have a good banter back and forth. It's up to you to comment your comments in the comments to let me know how I can tweak this new weekly segment. We begin with the threads. Agents Letty posted a story about piracy, PVP, grinding for credits, right? Those three. They wanted to illustrate a scenario where a player was minding their own business and was contacted by some players who wanted to pirate them. Give us your money or we will kill you. To be clear, or at least I would like to take some time now to clarify my stance on this, this is the pitch all the way back to 2013. This scenario and these scenarios like it is the intended gameplay. That's, that's what Chris pitched. So this is the beginning of basic piracy, and it's going to be counteracted by security and bounty when that's more fleshed out. Anyways, back to the post. They highlighted two situations, one where the player did not have an escort and was pissed off that they were being halted by the pirates, and another one where the players did have an escort and the pirates got a lot more than they bargained for. The OP's point was quite simple, and that was that everyone from Bear, Knight, Griefer, and Killer can enjoy the game right now despite of these missing core game loops. And they said that all we need to do to enjoy it is to plan ahead. Planning in this case would be to link up with a friend and get them to run cover for you. Play a multiplayer game <laughs> with multiplayers, right? The most voted reply was from Ar Archelide, who said that the OP should stop telling people what to do, that people can play however they want, and all of this will make sense when the game is fully fleshed out and feature complete. I'm going to say now that this isn't how I would go about the issue, because as much as I know that people might be waiting for the game to come out, that might be still years before that'll happen, and if you decide to not play until then, fine, and that's great, but you're also missing out on watching the game evolve despite all of the issues and bugs. Play now, practice now, learn the mechanics as they're added, but don't burn yourself out to the point of being upset. Phoba indicated that they're super happy that Salvage is being added because they see it as part of piracy, which is cool, and this is why I'm mentioning it. I myself had a more narrow view of Salvage until I read this. We agree that Salvage is part of industry. It's an offshoot of mining. You're mining dead ships instead of rocks with a magic beam, right? So it's normal. But a pirate tries to ransom a player, the player tells them to F off, and they get blown up. Normally, that would be the end. But Salvage is added, Pirates could then set to work getting their ransom some other way in the form of salvaging the dead hull. And even more exciting is when that player is super pissed off and they get all heated up and they return for their stuff, hopefully with friends, and then things get really spicy, right? Anyways, the thread had some really good back and forth. It also had a lot of salt, some intolerance, some hate on both sides. But anyways, this is all part of that PvP debate, which really has its tentacles into all aspects of the game. So do you plan to play naughty? And as part of your naughty plans, do you plan to have a salvage team on standby to mop up pieces for profit? Comment in the comments. Next, and a very nice segue, Serrera posted that the best way to not get pirated is to protect yourself in an active org. This is the idea and has been the intended gameplay since day one. They say that piracy is here to stay and playing as a lone wolf would result in you missing out on the best part of the game, which is teamwork. Uh, Elevatore commented, Thanks tips for stating the obvious with a waste of a thread and they think that the point of that thread was just to stir up a little bit more shit in Spectrum. Kadrin said that they think right now because it's an alpha that joining an org is dumb. But as I indicated earlier, you can miss out on playing now and what are you really waiting for, right? Play now. Technically, the game could all go bankrupt before it even comes out and then what? You've missed out on playing with some friends and all that time just because you wanted to wait. Reaver... Reverin, 
Reverin posted that they're getting pissed off about reading threads like this. They stated that the OP's opinion is actually correct and that anything else by anyone else is wrong. And to them, I would suggest that if this is actually how you feel, you should perhaps avoid Spectrum for now on and perhaps go one step even further that you may want to stop paying for internet, smash your phones, because that's basically how things are. And none of that is limited to just Spectrum. And I feel sad that they're having such a bad day reading Spectrum. Anyways, a short post with a simple message. Are you part of an org now? Or do you agree that waiting for beta might be the better time to join? Comment in the comments. Next, Noodlefangs is pissed off their Carrick's name isn't visible. They needed to vent a bunch and they chose to do that on Spectrum. I'm posting because according to the replies, the naming might have been added and then removed as part of a test, but then Nod, 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 Great, No Dragon, No, yeah, No Dragon posted some screenshots. Super quick, can you comment in the comments? Are ship names still working for you? And would you care to offer your opinion on if you feel that's a priority or not? Next. Huggy Bear is upset because their 1995 Ford Taurus station wagon has an aftermarket auto starter and remote door locks. Their point was, in 2952, they would expect technology to have evolved. They suggest that by that time, systems would be so advanced such that things would possibly allow access simply based on your biometrics. Basically what they're saying is that an owner of a ship should be able to provide or deny access to your ship systems, and that's missing. Harry Greers came up with an interesting point that such a system when added would technically also become part of hacking gameplay. Any system that has the ability to add or deny functions would be hackable and Harlock came up with a sad pessimistic statement which was closer to the truth than I care to admit which was that by the time all of this stuff is added none of us may be alive to enjoy it. Just funny. So I answer this one the same way that I've done in the past. We have cars that drive themselves, we have planes that fly themselves, and I own a cheap drone that will automatically land where it took off. But in the Star Citizen universe, we have ships that need pilots, and we have turrets who mostly require gunners. Bone summed it up the best by saying that CIG's idea of tech in the future makes no sense, but that's fine. They simply tell themselves that this is some goofy alternate timeline. All of this stuff is being added to Star Citizen, and it makes no sense until you suspend disbelief and accept the fact that for the sake of game enjoyment, not everything is going to make sense. My belief is that 30 years from now, we as humans won't ever drive anything and automation is going to just take over. That's fine IRL, but that'll make a crappy space game set in the future. Comment in the comments. Do you want autopilot for everything or do you think the current direction with the future of AI blades and, and paying NPC crew is better? Next, Neo Terra MS posted that self-destruct is going to end up being quicker than rearm and refuel. They're annoyed that the current system is so bulky and they wonder why this isn't a priority and they're worried that it'll just get much worse once salvage and other loops are added. If a heavily damaged ship is going to take too much credit or is going to take too long to fix, then what's the point? What's the incentive to seek out repair? Why not just blow up your stuff all over the sector and claim it? Ordo said that this will be resolved in due time as the company is going to crack down on Alt F4 as an exploit to ensure that people will need to use the mechanics properly. Part of the discussion wanted penalties for everything, such as prison times, not to count down unless you're actually logged in. There were some who suggested that hunger and thirst should drop to bare minimum when you're logged off, and of course with persistence, you'd expect that if you park a busted ship and retrieve it, you'll retrieve a busted ship. Fire a bunch of missiles, waste a bunch of fuel, log back in, and it's still in that state. So I suppose this thread can be seen as not seeing the forest for the trees in a way. Currently we do have Alt F4, or you can blow everything up and carry on. Just like small ships can no longer regenerate fuel, death and dying and other incoming features were all placeholders. It's unfortunate, I suppose, because players are becoming accustomed to things working the way they are and then they change and they don't. So if CIG goes this route that prison will only count down when I'm logged in, I'm just going to leave the game running, wasting electricity with a slight macro to move the mouse every once in a while so it won't auto log out. I don't have a solution to this problem. I'm just pointing out that as gamers, we game and we overcome any system that's put in our way, right? So that's fun. Anyways, hope you had a fun time with that. Comment in the comments about this or anything mentioned today. That's it. Thank you very much for your support. Please share the videos with others to spread the word. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.